In the United States, one in two men and one in three women will be diagnosed with cancer within their lifetime. The good news is the number of cancer deaths in the U.S. has dropped by 32% over the last 30 years. That's 3.9 million fewer deaths from cancer. This is wonderful progress. Some of this drop is because more people are being diagnosed at earlier stages of the disease, when cure is more likely. I'm Dr. Alicia Sequist from Mass General Cancer Center. When we can find cancer early, we have a much better chance of treating it successfully. So how is early stage cancer detected? The best way is through a screening test, which means looking for a possible cancer diagnosis in a person with no symptoms of cancer, who feels healthy. We have screening tests for some types of cancers, but not all of them. For example, current US guidelines recommend that we use mammograms to screen for breast cancer, colonoscopy to screen for colon cancer, chest CT scans to screen for lung cancer, and pap smears to screen for cervical cancer. Screenings like these have a real and positive impact. For example, when lung cancer is caught at the earliest stage, stage one, the chance of cure is about 90%. Yet when it is not diagnosed until stage four or metastatic, the chance of cure is vanishingly small. Unfortunately, not enough people know about cancer screenings and if they are eligible. In addition, more types of cancer screening tests need to be developed and deployed so that all of us can have the best chance at being a survivor should we be diagnosed with cancer. At Mass General Brigham, we are leading the way in both clinical care and research to help people with cancer find out their diagnoses at the earliest possible stage. The most important types of tools we need are those that can help point out which people are at risk for which cancers. Historically, our understanding of cancer risk has been too simplistic and one-dimensional. Risk calculators available to doctors today often focus on tobacco use, alcohol use, and weight, but don't incorporate important modern risk factors for cancer like air quality, stress, poverty, and other social determinants of health, and the effects of our changing food systems, occupational exposures, and even climate change. But technology is advancing, and by harnessing tools like advanced genetic testing, blood-based biomarkers, and artificial intelligence, we will be able to develop smarter strategies that provide truly personalized cancer screening and prevention recommendations. At the Mass General Cancer Early Detection and Diagnostics Clinic, we meet with patients to provide a cancer risk assessment consultation. At this in-depth visit, we learn all about a person's individual risk factors for cancer and customize our recommendations for cancer screening. We also offer participation in a variety of clinical trials to help speed the delivery of novel technologies for finding cancer at the earliest stages. In addition, for patients who have an abnormality on a lab test or an x-ray that suggests they might have cancer, we provide rapid and easy access to the latest diagnostic tests and personalized navigation to the appropriate cancer specialists if necessary. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Alicia Sequist. For more Clues to Cures videos, click here, and don't forget to subscribe.